much welcome back to the channel if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out at this point we've pretty much got content going out every every 48 hours so don't stay stuck with your business make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content now if you have a training business and you want to learn more about our sports business accelerator program then there's two ways you can do that Number one, either send me a, an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com or you can apply through booking a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. My Candly link is in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 uh, to 20 minute call. We jump on Zoom. I can ask you some questions about your business, see where you're at, see where you want to get to. And I can essentially see if our accelerator program is a good fit for you. Right now, at this point, we've got coaches in all sports within the program and we're getting really, really good results every every single day with the coaches we are currently working with. So if you want success with your business, if you want to learn more, then those are the two ways to get in contact with me to grow, scale, and build what you're currently doing to the next level. So today I wanna to talk about how to start up your own soccer coaching business. Now, I have talked about this multiple times on previous videos, but I thought it'd be a good, good idea to come on here again and kind of repeat myself because there's a lot of coaches that maybe haven't watched the, the previous videos that I've put out. There's some coaches that are watching our channel for the first time. And there's a lot of coaches who actually write me every single day. They send me either text messages, emails, uh, they get in contact with, with me through Twitter, through Instagram. And they ask me, how do I start up my own soccer coaching business? So there's three very basic steps when you're looking to start up any type of business and especially this type of, of business it within soccer. All right, so I'm gonna break it down, three very simple steps. The first one is you need to set up your business legally. So whichever country, whichever city you're in, the best thing to do is get in contact with a CPA, which is an accountant, All right? So a certified accountant, and book a, a consult, all right, a consultation session with them where you can ask them questions about what you're currently doing and what is the best uh, way to set up your business legally. Right, a CPA will be better uh, and will give you better advice essentially on how to, to go about this and how to set up your business legally in the city and area you're currently in. Okay, so the first step is you've got to set up the business legally. If you're in the United States, most coaches, what they do is they set, set up an LLC. Uh, if you're in the UK, then what most coaches do is they either set up as self-employed or they set up a private limited company where they're the director of the company. And essentially what, what happens is they, they run the company that... The coach and the company are two separate identities. This model is very similar to the LLC model, which is in the United States. But whatever country you're in, if you're in Canada, if you're in Australia, if you're in the UK, if you're in the United States, right, whichever country you're in, get in contact with, a, with an accountant in your local area. They'll be able to give you better legal advice and point you in the right direction to get in your business set up legally. But that is the first step to setting up. And it's really important that you do uh, this first step because it number one, it's more professional. Okay, because when clients or parents want to search your business and search what you do, they want to see that you're a legitimate company that is operating. Also, it in terms of marketing and, and selling. If you're set up legally and if you're set up the right way, okay, this builds trust as well with, with clients. Okay, So the first one is setting your business up legally. The second one is having business insurance. Right, So if you're in the UK, and I speak to a lot of UK coaches, 
right? A company that I have used in within my business and a company I recommend to, to other coaches is a company called Inshore for Sports, right? So Inshore for Sports is fantastic for private trainers, coaches that are doing private one-on-one training or that have a, a coaching business, right? So inshoreforsports.co.uk, I believe is the website. Get in contact with them. Uh, they'll be able to to point you in the right direction, give you a couple of their appropriate packages that they have for, for what you're doing. But it's important that you are uh, insured because it not only protects you and your business, but if you go and hire out a, a facility, which is indoor or, or a school, wherever it is, most... Uh, indoor facilities will require you to have a uh, public liability insurance okay in the in the US uh, there's a there's a number of companies as well that coaches that we work with uh, are currently using within their business so if you want to learn more about that then get in contact with me I'll be able to uh, share with you a couple of the companies that the coaches who are in our sports accelerator program are using to ensure their their business when they work with with clients and when they hire out venues and facilities all around uh, the us okay so the first one is setting up the business legally either as an llc or a private limited company if you're in the us or the uk the second one is having business insurance so that you are secure, right? You are protected and also it, it protects you if you go and hire out a, a facility and one of your clients accidentally smashes a window or, or something breaks within that facility and you're, you and your business are liable for the damages, okay? And then the third one, when I look at when I look at setting up a business, the third most important uh, thing that you need is a secure and consistent location to train your clients out of. All right, so this might be a school, this might be a park, this might be uh, a, a center, okay, somewhere where you can market and promote your training sessions to clients. And somewhere where clients are coming to you for training. What I see a lot of coaches do is they have multiple locations where they train at. Now that works great if you have assistant coaches that are working with you and they they maybe live closer to these, these centers. But if it's just you at the beginning, then what we want to look at is we want to try and try to find a reliable and secure location that you can use on a weekly basis to train your clients out of. And so that way you're not having to travel everywhere to do your training sessions. Your clients can come to you for the training. Okay. Also, this is important because if you decide to grow and scale, uh, you will need a, a location to be able to do that. Okay. And essentially what I look at when when I think of location is can I use that 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 venue can I use that facility all year round uh, in all seasons so if it's winter and it's raining it's snowing can we use that facility when it gets to summer right is that facility available because I know for example in the UK with a lot of coaches we work in a lot of them use uh, parks in the summer but what happens is uh, those parks sometimes get packed out with teams using them for other sports. So in the UK, if you're a UK coach, in the UK, the summer is normally cricket season and a lot of the parks uh, get set up for cricket season. So there'll, there'll be a lot of cricket matches going on uh, during the summer, which maybe in some situations can limit the, the space for a lot of trainers who are looking to use parks um, as a way of saving money rather than hiring out a, an actual facility where they've got to pay a higher fee. Okay, so having a secure location where you can use all year round, where 
parents come to you for the training you're not going to them they're coming to you and you can run either your one-on-one -on -one sessions out of you can run your group sessions okay and you can grow and scale your business right this is also important in the US because again the US has seasonal sports when it comes to the summer season right there's there'll be multiple sports um using different different venues and different facilities around the country so as a trainer okay you need to make sure that if you're going to transition your business from one-on-one -on -one training to groups that you have adequate space to be able to run your sessions out of okay and make sure that that venue it, or that venue that location whatever it is if it's a park if it's a facility that is available during the times that you have been marketing and promoting your training sessions to clients right there's there's been a lot of cases with a lot of coaches who have gone to use parks to do group sessions they haven't got a permit they didn't book the the park beforehand and midway through the session a lacrosse team comes in and they have to move the entire session somewhere else because that team did the right thing they they got a permit they booked the 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 training area and they were allowed to to be there when that trainer who was doing the small group sessions wasn't meant to be there okay now what happens is that ruins your session because it ruins the flow of the session with your clients also it looks very unprofessional because it shows that you haven't done the right thing and you know finding a permit booking that 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 place that spot and also in terms of concentration from your clients if they have to keep moving every 20 or 15 minutes because a team's coming on then it just again it just ruins the flow of the session it looks very unprofessional and it looks like you're just kind of winging it rather than actually having something set up properly uh, within your business right so invest the time invest the effort invest the energy to find a secure location that you can use every single week on a on a regular basis okay so if you want to learn more about our sports accelerator program this is the number one program we have at the moment for for coaches in all sports especially soccer who want to grow and scale uh, their business to the next level currently we've got content there from how to start how to grow how to scale and uh, we've got a community there where coaches can put post their questions there's accountability and also we've got a uh, weekly coaching calls that we do live every Tuesdays at the moment with with the coaches that who are currently part of of our program right so this this is something you want to learn more about if you want to get your business to the next level okay two ways you can get in contact with me the first one book a call with me we can jump on zoom I can ask you a couple of questions see where you are uh, with your business see where you want to get to and then we can discuss whether our program is a good fit for, you, for what you're currently doing and if it's not no problem at all you can take away the, the call that we had and some tips to to go and implement into your business to to get to the next level and then hopefully join our program later down the road okay or if you want to get in contact with me without getting on a zoom call you can do that as well just simply get in contact with me through email to make money coaching sports at gmail.com okay thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one